All right, guys, so you've been riding in the two rain for probably a little bit, and you're wondering, when do I actually start to pick up on that spade bit? All right, when does that become a thing? Because that's pretty elusive. Oh gosh, I got this spade bit in their mouth, or you got a half breed, or you got a Mona Lisa, or whatever the heck you decided to buy. Um, you've got some form of bridal bit, and you're like, well, when can I, when am I allowed to pick up on that? I, I'm gonna give you the diplomatic answer, and it's gonna be whenever your horse is ready. All right, what do I look for when I wanna start picking up on that bridle bit? I want my horses, I it really, I want their confidence to be in that bridle bit. I don't want them to be still in that stage where, they're, where they go around and they're unsure about it. I want them to, be, to where they can roll that cricket, they're relaxed, they're not, there's not, we're walk trot and cantering in it, and there's not bobbling around, they're not tossing their head, they're keeping their mouth around it, they're comfortable, confident in it, and then, it's about time, okay? So early on, the wonderful thing about the two reins is then you could actually go more almost, when you go to do your reins and you're holding them, early on you have a lot of slack in your Romels and you're shorter on the Bozell or the Bozellita reins because you don't want to make contact off of that off of that bridle bit. Well now you could start to shorten your, your Romel reins a little bit to where you start to have a little more contact off that bridle bit like I do there, right? And then the horse gets soft and you release the Romels and you go on again. And so early on, I would do it in the walking forward. I'd have my horse walking forward and I'd shorten up on my Romel reins and ask that horse and see if that horse could really get soft off and make sure that I know that, like here I'm loose on the Romels, I'm just using my outside leg to push the horse back so the camera can see. And then here I might pick up on that bridle bit and say, hey, can you get soft in that? Good, and then I'll release, right? That was solely off of the bridle bit. My, my Bozell reins or my Bozellita reins, my hair reins, they are shorter because if the horse hit the bridle bit and they're like, I don't know what to do, then I'm there to say, hey, yeah, you do. You know exactly what to do because I can pick up on the Bozell reins and get and say, oh, you remember this? You remember how you get soft in the face? And then they go, oh yeah, I remember that. And you're there to coach them. That's the awesome thing about the two rein is that you're not just like throwing a spade or throwing anything in their mouth and then saying, hey, good luck, figure this out. It's very strategic that once my horse understands that I can start to pick up on this bridle bit and say my horse got a little bit confused, then I could pick up on the Bozell reins and say, hey, you remember that? And they're like, oh yeah, I remember that. And then you're like, then I just release everything all together but I will start this process just at the walk, walking around, having my horse to where they, they're soft in the face already in the Hackamore, or in the Bozell, excuse me. And then I just try it, just slowly take the slack out. And if they hit that contact, don't keep pulling. If they hit that contact, let them feel it and see if they'll start to give to that a little bit. You'll be amazed, like it's a philosophy, right? It's, it's not so much about the actual bridle bit. It's the philosophy to understand the horse gives to soft, like the horse gets soft when they feel pressure in a certain way. These bridle bits are not designed to be lever action, just torquing them around. No, absolutely not. I've had, I've heard of, and I've even had this horse pull on this bridle, like get a little more heavy in this than she ever thought about in a hackamore or in a snaffle because it's more straight on. So here I might just pick up. So I gotta get some, a little more oomph. My tank is a little empty. She's just kind of, we've been filming a few videos. So she's just like, ah. So there she dives in a little bit. I just want to give a little more space so you guys can see. So here I'm picking up on the Ramels. I'm just doing this, it's kind of exaggerated so you guys can see, but I'm picking up on the Ramels and there I release and she gets long. You guys can see that, right? So I'll drop, I'll actually get really loose on the, on these reins, I'll pick up here, put my outside leg on. So right, I'm not really steering her too much off of the Ramels. I'm just saying, hey, can you get soft? And my steering comes from my seat. I might stop take my seat off, see if she'll stay soft in that bridle, then ride her back forward into the contact and give her a face back. That's a little bit more than you would probably do on that first ride, right? This is off of the Bozell reins here. And so I, guys, I didn't grow up around this. I'm figuring this out as I go, and I, I've found that it's not that freaking complicated. Just take the time, try things out, do, don't overface your horse, don't do more than they're ready for. But when you go to pick up on that spade for the first time, 
it's just like trying anything for the first time, trying to teach a horse to back up for the first time. Let them find the answer to it and then reward them for it and keep gradually moving on, right? The mindset behind this, behind any of this horsemanship is super important. Your horses need to be confident, they need to be relaxed, they need to understand what's going on. Your horse knows how to get soft in the bridle before you ever pick up on the spade because you've either rode them in a snaffle, you've either ridden them in a snaffle already, or you've ridden them in a hackamore and the two rein, right? So you've either done all three or you've done two out of the three, right? And so your horse understands how to get soft and broad. We're just giving them another way to learn how to do that. And it feels a little different and it looks a little different. But these bridle bits were designed with the horse in mind. And so don't lose track. Like it is, they're not bits to be yeehawed on. You will get run off faster in a, in a bridle bit than you will in a snaffle or a hack or any day. But we have to understand like, hey, you have a leather curb strap to keep my horse safe. There is a reason that is there. But as you go through this, just like the first ride in the terrain, when you go to pick up that first time in the spade, like just make sure that it's nice and calm and quiet. Don't think, I don't really think nothing of it, to be honest with you. It's just like my horse feels like she might be ready for this. And then I ask her and she goes, I'm ready. Or maybe they go, oh, that's a little too much too early. And you back off and you say, okay, we'll keep working at it. All right, but don't don't spend too much time pondering that. Make sure you've got your checklist checked off and that you feel like your horse is ready as they can be based on what you know to do. And, you know, further your education a little bit and then give it a shot. You know, your horse is gonna tell you whether it was a good idea or not. And sometimes they may not be too sure, but you're there to coach them along. And then they go, oh, okay, I understand that now. I just didn't, I wasn't quite ready for that in that moment, but you're, you're there to help them out. So guys, keep pressing on with your, with your bridle horse process. Happy to be a part of your journey to be bringing you guys some more educational content.